The saga of learning to fly the DJI Neo drone continues. Here, I'm sending drone number two on a reconnaissance mission to find drone number one that I lost in the tree across the street. If you haven't watched that video already, the link is in the video description. Using the phone app with a wireless mic, didn't work very well, I'm getting pretty annoyed with it. It's not what it's cracked up to be, just FYI. Just because of the screen size, obviously it's a lot smaller, I need my reading glasses. Also, I can't seem to figure out how to change the tilts of the camera. So, I don't know, maybe it's somewhere in there. It doesn't appear that the app has the same functionality as the controller, which is weird. I don't know why they wouldn't have made them the same. Anyways, go see if I can find drone number one with drone number two and get drone number two to come back home with this interface. There's the tree. It really helps to read the user manual. Probably a good idea to do it before you fly, not after like me. As you can tell from the previous screenshot, the gimbal control is located in the phone app on the camera display itself on the upper right hand side. Didn't try it out, haven't tried it out yet, just learned that after this flight. That's the tree where I lost the drone. Get a little closer to it. Be able to see this a little better when I put it on the big screen. But certainly on this little screen, I cannot see my drone anywhere. I also learned reading the user manual that the maximum height is 30 meters when using the phone app and the maximum distance away is 50 meters. So good to know. Good thing I didn't take it for a longer flight just to the tree across the street. It's probably, I think it was 37 meters away. So you can get an idea of how limited flight distance you have with the phone app. It's good for... Is that it? Track and follow features or droney or any of the other preset no. functions that come with the drone, but flying it manually with the phone app, do it in close proximity. But that's it. It's pretty, pretty limited. Again, not sure why the phone app functionality isn't more similar to hmm. that when using the RC controller. It's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Hmm. No, I do not see it anywhere. So I'm going to bring it back. Well, that's it. No drone. What are you going to do?